can speak critically of this. He generally refer to those who, who are of the life of sense. Beginners resemble children who kick and cry and struggle to walk by themselves when their mothers want to carry them. In making by themselves, in walking by themselves, they make no headway. Or if they do it, it, it is an, at the child's pace. Now this is in the prologue of that book. His commentary is on Ascent to Mount Carmel. So the first division in the spiritual life, the way of beginners, is what we call the purgative way, purification, the active night of the sense. So there are two aspects in the Christian life, the positive and the negative. They are not mutually exclusive, but they interact with one another. The positive aspect comprises the cultivation and development of virtues, doing good to your brothers and sisters, act of love, detachment, detachment again, doing good, love. So it is the practice of virtues. The positive aspect, the worthy reception of the sacraments and the practice of prayer. These are the positive aspect of the theology of asceticism. The negative aspect is covered by such terms as etunat, detachment, self-denial, purification, and mortification. So dapat maliwanag lang, ano? Hindi ka pupunta sa asceticism, asceticism simply for self-denial or punishing yourself or for whatever uh, reason or way. No? There, there is also the positive aspect of asceticism and this is what? Doing good, receiving the sacrament, the practice of prayer. Now, it is usually these latter practices that come to mind when one hears the word asceticism. So, when we hear the word asceticism, what would come to our mind at once? Denial, purification, fasting, detachment, etc. Now, the early Christians <coughs> were called ascetics because they were exemplary in the practice of Christian virtues, heroic virtues. But a person who wants to be proficient in the practice of virtue must achieve self-mastery by subjecting the lower faculties, especially the passions, passion, the urge, the, uh, you know, the passions, uh, instinctual desires to be in control of reason enlightened by our Christian faith. So, most of the times, we want to do good. But life for, again the paradox, no? I think that was the retreat I gave you. No? You are inspired to do what is good, but you continue doing what is not good. Gusto mong gumawa ng mabuti, pinagawa mo ang masama. And at that, many times, you find yourself unreasonable. So when we, when we practice asceticism, the practice of virtue, or self-denial, or detachment, now it has to be <coughs> fruitful in the sense that it would make us closer to God. So this is the first stage of the spiritual life. And many of us are in these states. We can meditate. We may talk about meditation some other time. Those who work actively to purify their soul by detachment, mortification, fasting, etc. Curtailing sins and attachments. So more or less, we are still what? Most of us are on this states of beginners.
So they are slowly renouncing simple pleasures and self-centered gratification, masturbation, self-abuse, pornography. Huh? Slowly. <laughs> and gently. <laughs> and gently. Do not be harsh with yourselves. Kasi natin na nakikita na ng Diyos yung desire mo, eh, no? Your deep desire to be with Him. And to prepare yourself for what? To receive God in your soul. Eh kaya lang, you're so wounded. Kaya lang, sabi ko, ba? Yun lang, multiplication yun, nung pinapresent niya sa akin yung program, no? Nagtaka ako, basketball clinic? Hindi mo ngayon lang ako pag-basketball, eh. Tapos ako pa yung magbabasketball clinic sa inyo. Sabi ko, baka mas lalo kayo maging wounded. <laughs> Because, The way I learned basketball, playing basketball in Tondo is you have to be tough, you have to do a lot of trust talking, you have to be competitive. Ito na nga yung sugat yun, tapos tatagdagaw ko pa. Wala hindi kayo mahil, ha? Pero that's good, no? Self-knowledge. This is where I am wounded and I want to be here. Harapin ko siya. Hindi ko tatakbuhan. Yeah. Uh, hindi masarap yun, eh, gagawin mo eh, no? Pagka traumatized ka nga na, tapos gagawin mo eh. Paharapin mo. You're going away <coughs> from self-gratification. Eh, yung iba, yung iba, mas kayo mga seminarista namin, pati naman ng basketball, volleyball na lang. Sige, volleyball na. <laughs> Wala, pagka pinigil ko, alam ko na ngayon, I'll be part of their Wounded, no? They're woundedness. Alam niyo nang pinapresent niyo yan, I think, na realize ko ang dami kong nasaktang pare at sininalista. Because the way I play basketball, alam niyo kong nasaktang. Kaya pa na. Hindi ko ako, sabi nga niyo, sabi nga ni sa pa, ngayon ko lang na-realize. Sabi niyo isang pare sa akin. It is night. Because this discipline deprived our sense of disordered activities. Sense. What do you say then? The sense of... Uh, we always want sens sensible consolation. Right? It's pleasurable because it, it gives pleasures to our senses. And what are the five external senses? Na-stimulate yan eh, no? When you go to pornography, na-stimulate yan. Diba? It is night because you start what? Depriving your senses, disciplining your senses with these disordered activities. Disordered, ha? Wala sa ayos. Hindi naman, ma hindi naman bawal kumain. Hindi naman bawal from time to time. Makakaiwas pa tayo ng manood ng rated R. Di ba? Eh, siyempre, kahit na rated R, may stimulate ka pa rin to. But when you become addicted to that, that's the problem. When you become addicted to this relationship, that's the problem. Or you can be addicted interiorly to an idea. You begin discriminating people who are not like you. Or, you do, or people who do not think the way you think. Uh, ito, kulang talaga ito sa maturity pag ganun mga ano, anyway. So, it is active, active night. It involves deliberate action. Sa deliberate, ha? such as denial and control, restraint. <coughs> So there is intentionality. May mga bagay naman na hindi natin kayo ipigilin. Pagka kubutong ka dapat, tumain ka kayo, nakuha ba ko? Yung ka ng tubig. Pag may dumang maganda, eh, makikita niyo ako, sinusunod ang kumisa ng tingin. Diba? O pag mayroon ka nakikita ng kagilibidyo sa'yo, in your senses, susundan mo ng tingin. Masama yun, pag sinundaw mo na yun, kasi yan. 
Di ba mag-usap? And so you have to exercise a lot of what? Restraint. Restraint. Diba? Hindi lang naman kayo. Kahit heterosexual, no? Pareho lang, no? Even married people. It involves primarily the passions and the pleasure, pleasures of sense. Ito yung asceticism, negative in a way, no? Because you have to practice detachment. So the primary effort, take note. Hindi ito na ito tatagala, no? We are going into asceticism, detachment, self-denial, and the, the disciplines of the dead, like like uh, uh, fasting, etc. Primarily for what? <coughs> Why are we renouncing pleasure, sensible consolation, and satisfaction? To make us fit for service, service to God and the church. Ay si Pamela lang. Nandito ako sa Australia, di ba? Alam niyo nung nandun ako, malaking issue, there is a royal commission formed by the, the state inviting the church to investigate the many cases of sexual abuses. Eh kung hindi ka, hindi ka marunong, or you would not reach the maturity in making use of your passion, then you will be more victimizing innocent people. Children, will you be fit for service if you are still harboring this kind of attachment, this ordered appetites? Yeah. You will be harming not only the church but the victims. So we are doing this asceticism, not for anything else, but not to compete with anybody. Or for us to be better in the eyes of God. Primarily, this is to make us fit for service. And it includes the teaching of Juan de la Cruz, Nada and Todo. Who are we serving? Primarily, God, Jesus, the one whom we are following. Why are we serving Him? Because He is our beloved. The more I am in communion with Jesus, the more I become like Him. So when you enter into this dark night, as one in the cross would explain it, then you have to imitate Jesus. You have to become like Him. Do you want to follow me? Then imitate me. The way I love. The, the way I treat people. The way, the way I worship God. And the way I care for myself. Now, the way of beginners would also be essentially with the active progress from common meditation to simple prayer of faith. Pag nagkaras na tayo dito, syempre, Pagka nagro-roo salita, nagme-meditate ka rin, ano na? You try to imagine Jesus praying the Gethsemane and you were there. Even wiping uh, his perspiration, etc. But there would come a time that you would go into prayer just simply there, gazing at what? Lovingly attentive to God. Doing nothing. Because it's difficult even to meditate for some. When you begin, when, it, uh, you, when you start, or when you go into the beginning of contemplative prayer. So when you are starting to experience dryness, aridity, in your prayer, pouring na prayer nyo, even this way of life, that they started embarking in curries. And some of you would say, this is a dark night. Then, you may ask, something might be wrong in what I'm doing. 
John of the Cross would say, no, nothing is wrong. Everything is developing naturally. Dark night is a sign of progress. Now, Jesus himself gave his disciples a series of admonitions regarding asceticism. The most general of which is, if a man wishes to come after me, he must deny his very self, take up his cross, and follow in my steps. Whoever would preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will preserve it. Again, there is the paradox. You want to gain life? You want eternal life? Then die. Start losing your life by letting go of your attachment. Disordered appetites. So the fundamental principle in asceticism of one in a cross is that God is all, total. And by comparison, we, cre we creatures are nada, nothing. So how can you compare? Any creature in this world with the Creator, with God Himself, we're nothing. So if there is to be a union of friendship between God and the soul, the soul must be elevated through sanctifying grace and charity so that it can relate to God on the supernatural plane. The bond of union with God is what? What would enable us to be united with God? That we are free from our disordered appetites, desires, and God can enter into our life. Now, how can we further please God who is in our soul, in the depth of our soul? How can we further please Him? By practicing virtues. Virtues of charity, of uh, other positive, positive uh, behaviors, of doing good to our brothers and sisters. Thirty minutes lang po eh. So hindi ko naman siya matatapos lahat. Eh. I, of course, I can go to the way of the proficients. Yeah? The illuminative way. And this is when God is the one doing more action in our soul. We have done our part. We have done the ascetic part. Now there will come a point that God will be the one intervening so that all our impurities will be removed. What are some of those passive experiences? Pag nakakasakit ka, tumatanda na tayo. Some of us are in the age of 40s and 50s, like me. Di ba pag nandun ka sa mga edad na yan, you start losing so many things in life. Maraming uh, ng buko. Help. Parents, friends, nawawala. Na hindi na natin dapat gawin at mawawala na lang sila sa buhay natin. This is the passive night. God Himself taking away what we treasure in life. It could be a relationship. Or suddenly, pag tinatanong ko, wala si Romy ngayon, nakalunutan ko. Kasi pag tumatanda yun, si Romy natatanda yun. Sabi niya, pag tumatanda ng father, 60 na siya eh. Nawawala na yung libido. Nababawasan. O siyempre, pag mga bata, mga 20s, 30s, eh, raging hormones pa yan. Eh, diba? Pero pagka tumatanda, katotoo ba yan? Gawin. Nababawasan. <laughs> <laughs> Sasabihin nito, hindi totoo yan. <laughs> Parang minsan, no, nag may nagbibigay sa amin ng uh, total sexuality. Sabi nung isang friar na uh, 60, late 60s na. By the grace of God, I have no more sexual hurts, baby. No? Sabi nung isang pari ng Amerikano na mag-upotenta na, hindi ako naniniwala sa'yo. 
Aku ucil tanah dia lupa <laughs> Dia bilang Pero nak di Indonesia dia bilang Ay, sino nak alis tu? Nak alis tu nang Panginoon Unti-unti, no? mas ke yung mga tao na kinagigiliwan natin sa buhay Sila mismo yung nawawala eh, no? Hindi naman natin pinipili Then that's the passive Well, in God is the, the one purifying, intervening, the soul. It consists of lack of pleasure or consolation in prayer, and even in our life. So let's let's just look at look at, uh, uh, take a fast look at this thing. So it's filled with darkness and aridity. God brings the soul into darkness and emptiness in prayer and in life. At bago napunta sa prayer. At bago napunta dito sa ganitong buhay. Eh, mas masarap yata mag, mabuhay na lang ng magpariwaraan ng buhay. Bakit? Eh, eh di ba, Edwin, eh, inaano kayo na pinapas kayo sa ano? Why do you insist living this life? You are contradicting your nature. But what is your nature? So, nila, your nature is to have a loose life. Promiscuous life. And then you begin to answer, oh, what am I here? You experience what? Oh, sorry. Darkness, emptiness. Not only in prayer, but also in the life that you are choosing. Nararagasan ba namin mga pari at madri yan? Ako, super. Misal, may na nasa ipata nga ako. May pari nung namatay eh, na nag-asawa. Pinunta ako sa kanyang ibingan. Sabi ko nga sa mga madri, gusto ko nga talagin nila ako eh. Para sabihin nila kung totoo ang lagi. Kung totoo si Kristo. Inulogo ko nung mga madri. Hindi pa ba katrayan ni San Javier? Na kahit walang langit, kahit walang impyerno, ay magmamahal pa rin. Pag-iisipan ko. <laughs> Pero sinasabi ko, tama, panalang pa rin tayo. Kahit hindi ko nakikita si Jesus, mamahalin ko. Eh ganun din yung ginagawa nyo, di ba? Yeah. It is possible because it is caused by God's action. And we have difficulty in meditating. It is possible of the sense because it is without any sensible consolation or affection. This is the beginning of contemplation. I, I decided to share this with you because at the very start, we're talking about contemplative prayer. When we start experiencing aridity, dryness in your prayer, and even in your spiritual life, I want to remind you, it is natural, and it is, you're doing right, no? in the sense that God is inviting you for what? Oops. A deeper so you experience powerlessness, power of spirit in prayer, which is very radical. It is not because it is dark and loving gaze of faith. It is contemplation or the hidden inflow of God in the soul. It is passive because it is strictly God's doing in the soul, not the result of our effort, our action. That's why even in prayer, you just sit down attentively, lovingly, before the presence of God. In simple prayer of faith. It is night of spirit because it is obscure encounter with God in prayer. And of course, the objective is to attain the way of perfection, the unity way, the divine union, my house being now at rest. 
And this is the supernatural natural work of the Holy Spirit in kindling the flame of love in the soul. The spiritual merits of the human soul and God. I just want to point out this important thing. The life of prayer and the following of Christ is not possible without asceticism, renunciation, and self-denial. But we're talking of positive and negative asceticism. Positive will include the practice of virtues, the life of sacrament, the prayer life that we're doing. The negative sense would be, the negative element would be detachment, self-denial, renunciation, purification, the active night of the sense. So when we go into the purification process, the ascetic states, the ascetic element, we dispose our human will to receive God. We prepare our soul to receive God. But most of the times we experience what? Lacks. Had luck para pumasok ang Diyos sa ating buhay. O, for God to do His action in our life, in our soul. God is already within us. But He cannot perform what He wants in us because of certain blocks, attachment, disordered appetites. And the active night of the sense will lead us to the purification of our appetites, appetitos. Okay, I think that's it. Before I, uh, uh, before I go to further things like appetitos, uh, I just wanted to reflect on this. May pabawa until we meet again. Now, so in silence, if you can continue your prayer, be in touch with your many desires. Your many desires in the periphery of our life. Ano ba yung mga desires? It could be your ambition in your career. It could be a uh, relationship. It could be uh, to be uh, uh, pwede rin ang desire eh, uh, to be to take vengeance to the, to that person who hurt you, etc. But then try to be conscious also of your deepest desire. <clears throat> so with Martin Cruz, I think I have given you a little thing about the dark night. Hindi ko ma-discuss sa inyo masyado. Kasi, ito pang retreat ito eh, the dark night of one day of this. Are you still willing to pay the price in pursuit of our spiritual goal? Do you want to follow me? Jesus asked the rich young man. You have many possessions and you're hiding something from me from people and me, but I could see it. Can you let go of it? And then follow me. The rich young man left side. Probably while he, he was walk, walking away, Jesus was looking at him lovingly. And Jesus would, would say in, in, in himself, Babalikari, your heart will remain restless and it will only, only be still and at rest if it rests in me. Palagay niyo babalik siya. Palagay ko babalik siya. Be a disciple of Jesus. Are you willing to pay the price of following Jesus? Carry your cross, purify yourself, continue doing good, loving people, even those people who hurt you and are still hurting. That's the way of God, the way of Jesus. <clears throat>